we have a 60 year old male who's had previous bypass operation with four grafts. He has diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and chronic kidney impairment. Next slide. He has uh, been uh, suffering with shortness of breath, currently in NVHA class uh, three, I think that's a mistake, uh, with multiple admissions with pulmonary edema, with a recent admission also, with uh, a large left dual effusion, and he had uh, one liter aspirated. His echo shows uh, impaired LV, severe LV uh, dysfunction with uh, severe adixinosis. We'll show the images rather than the slides. So his uh, blood parameters, I don't think we have a slide. He has a creatinine of five. He has a urea of uh, 70. So this is the baseline creatinine level. The patient is uh, aware that he may need dialysis, but he's not keen on dialysis. Uh, so we are going to do whatever we can to try and minimize dilute. So therefore, we have not done any CT at all on this patient. No peripheral CT, no cardiac CT. Uh, and uh, we are going to do this uh, TAVI fully ultrasound guided. We will demonstrate all those uh, steps uh, in the next few uh, minutes. Uh, so the only uh, contrast we'll be using is uh, periprocedurally during the TAVI, which again, we're gonna minimize to as little as possible. So that is uh, the case. So let's move to echoes. Let's start at the beginning of the echo. Okay, so this is uh, the four chamber TAE. Uh, you can see here impaired LV, and if any, it's the septum and the LED territory that's contracting, the lateral is not that uh, effective. Next. Uh, there is mild to moderate MR, which is central, which we hope will get better after the TAVI procedure. Next. Uh, the tricuspid was good. Next. Uh, this is a close-up of the aortic valve. Uh, next. And this is a measurement on five-chamber view. Uh, I hope you can appreciate the number at the bottom left of the screen, uh, about 18.5 at the annular level. Next. Uh, here we have 19.7, next. So we've taken multiple measurements to average out whatever the biggest diameter is. Next. Next. Uh, two chamber view, next. 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 So here on three chamber view, uh, we have 18.9. You can see the sinus uh, has a weird shape. Uh, next. And the ascending aorta is dilated as you would expect uh, for uh, a bicuspid valve, which I will demonstrate very shortly. But the diameter is not too big. Uh, next. Uh, we have measured the diameter at 3.5 max. So we are going to ignore the ascending aorta now. Next. Uh, next. Now, these are the most important views uh, that uh, we have been concentrating on because this is the first time we're actually studying the valve. Is it a bicuspid, trileaflet? We don't know. Here, it is very clear. It's a bileaflet valve. It's a type zero. We were unable to appreciate any RAFI, and uh, I hope uh, the expert panel there in the audience will agree. Next. It's a close-up uh, demonstration of the bicuspid uh, Ooh, valve, type valve zero. Type Next. zero without any RAFI, so which is a type zero. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Next. And uh, intercommissural distance, uh, not quite at the tip, slightly lower down is 17. Next. And this is uh, roughly at the tips where we are about to uh, lose the tips. Next. And here, uh, we were able to get about 20, uh, being slightly on the generous side. Next. Next. We're going to find out. That's another uh, view showing the bileaflet. Next. I mean, the echocoronary height and the sinuses also. Next. So now, coming to uh, the uh, peripheral axis, 
uh, we have just performed an ultrasound here. Uh, you can see here I'm just uh, concentrating on uh, the uh, common femoral on the right side. You can see the bifurcation towards the right hand side of the screen. It's a fairly good sized common femoral. Next. So we had, it's there's a question about, from the audience. Uh, what is the coronary height yeah. and what is the measurement of the sinus? Uh, well, yeah, so that's an go interesting to part. Let me just tell you that this is a post bypass patient and his uh, grafts see. have been just checked. The lima graft actually, the lima is functioning all right. And the, so right, the right arteries and the OMs are also grafted. So we are going to demonstrate the lima. Essentially, we have not measured the coronary height because we have not done a CT and we're not going to bother measuring either because uh, the lima is patent. Uh, coming to the peripherals, uh, it's 6.8. You can see here next. The question was, if you did not have uh, a, if this patient did not have a bypass, well, how would you have measured the coronary height? We would have done an uh, iotogram uh, with yeah. as little contrast as possible, uh, and uh, perhaps do it on the table with ax coaxial view. Okay, great. Hi. Uh, next, suppose you, have you can see grounds. this is a common femoral. There's a bit of calcium uh, on the posterior wall, and there is calcium on the anterior wall. So the gap for puncture is somewhere closer to the bifurcation, which I hope you can appreciate. This is the mid common femoral level. Okay. Next. Suppose you have vein grafts. And this is just as the vessel arches into the iliac. Would you protect the coronary? Yeah, yes, yeah. I will. What are you saying? The question was, if you have vein grafts, not arterial grafts, would you end up protecting the coronaries if the coronaries are low? If you have patent vein grafts? No, in, so no, in fact, you know, this is the will no, this is the trade-off. We are no. So let me tell you. So there is always a trade-off. So in this patient, since we knew that we have a lima graft and the chances are that this grafts are functioning because he never had an ischemic episode and this all is appearing related to the severe aor critical aortic stenosis leading to LV dysfunction. So the plan here is that if that is not the case then we have to be as minimalistic as possible because this patient is absolutely refusing a dialysis uh, in the recent uh, future. So that is why we are taking this pathway. Otherwise one could take this pathway that you do a CT with a less than 40 ml contrast or less than 20 ml contrast, I just measure, just look at the aortic root. That's all. Don't even look at the peripheries so that you don't use too much of contrast. Can all right, do, go ahead. Can, okay. can we do a so we're moving back to the peripheral uh, uh, examination. MPR on echo. We're going to show that in a second. On echo itself. You can do that, but but dilute contrast. So let me is just also uh, show yeah, the peripheral go. examination. Uh, so this is the common femoral uh, bending down uh, on the head into the uh, external iliac, which looks clean with a bit of uh, calcium on the anterior side. Uh, next, this is all done in the cat lab by uh, here. We just did it a few minutes uh, back. We're just showing you the acquired images. Next. Next. Uh, this is the uh, common iliac, which is a cross-sectional uh, area of 6.2. Next. Next. So we tried to uh, scan the uh, peripheral vessels all the way up to the common iliac and beyond that obviously uh, we couldn't reach the vessel but we were fairly happy up till that point we had a fairly decent lumen to allow uh, a, a true 18 French system because the valve we're going to use here is a self-expanding evolutar uh, and th that's the valve we planning to use. Next. And this is uh, uh, on the left side. Next. Uh, left was slightly smaller than the right. Next. And the left uh, uh, external iliac was good also. Next. So based on the, uh, uh, on the echo valvular assessment, uh, we have decided to go for a 23 millimeter evolutar uh, because it's a true bicuspid and the uh, intercommissional distance has been seen, but the annular diameter average is uh, 18. Uh, maximum 20. <coughs> 18, 19 uh, maximum. So I shall hand you over to uh, Dr. PC, who will go through the fluoroscopic uh, stuff while we get the valve uh, ready. Okay. So, Saibal. This is an extreme situation. 
and in this kind of situation we have made yeah, these ma kind of adjustments you go to to uh, you know make this case happen and uh, as i said that we are not saying that you don't do a ct anymore okay. so in this kind of situation this is the alternate pathway to treat this kind of case no, where no, the probably this is, is a very great high, case is to not show so much a challenge and we minimize the contrast not available and i think you're doing uh, you're lucky that he has a lima mm -hmm. And there's because there, there are concerns. His sinuses yes, are not very big. Yes. It's only 20, and that's why uh, you can't even put yeah. a larger so, valve. So we decided, forward. yeah. But because yes. it's so we can even do that, you can and that is why, yeah, yeah. So so that is why. So we have that trade-off also here that it is a bicuspid valve. We can, you know, have a size which is n not so big, and yeah, we, we cannot go to a very small size as well. But here, the interesting thing is that. We have to choose a self-expanding valve. Why? Because uh, in with the balloon expandable, the sizing and everything else will be an issue. So with the self-expanding retrievable valve, I think we have advantage here. And with guidance of T on you know continuous T, we will be able to uh, position the valve. And now you all can also see that we have two pigtails. Can you see the images here? So we have two pigtails. Okay, just keep the keep the wire there. You know, I've done okay. that, but it's not. So I don't find it useful anymore. I think just keeping it in the non-corn is okay but to do with that because you want to do. Yeah, I mean, just for you know, yeah. because non-cornery is the. You totally right that non-cornery is our guiding uh, exactly. position, but certainly uh, having the second gives us some more idea about the position of this. Uh, so do you want to go analyst. through what's been done so yes. far? Yes. So go let to the me just quickly please. go through the first video. Yeah. So the first step we took was to do a puncture from the left groin, and this is a six strand sheath through this, and we put two six strand sheath on the left groin. Earlier we were planning to do one from the left radial, but the radial was not so good. So we went both from the left groin, and you can see we are trying to take a pigtail, because although it is a ultrasound guided puncture, but we also wanted to have the pigtail as a bullseye. So next please, next, keep going next. Next, next, and here we have the pigtail on the other side. Next, next, please. Next, yeah. So you can see that we have this uh, image here, and no contrast has been done uh, given up till now. Next, and we do the puncture with next. ultrasound guidance. Next, please, and we go inside, put two proglides, and we have put two proglides as you can see here that the proglides are in place and we then took a, a multi-purpose catheter and on this we took a you know amplars wire and next place keep going next and this is a 18 french sheath so we have put a 18 french sheath why because we thought that in case we want to do exchanges it'll be better not to be on in online inline sheath so then once we have all this in position we thought let us have a you know, just uh, extra cautionary step by doing a Lima, at least a Lima check with a 3 ml contrast. So we did this Lima check just to be sure that yes, we have a Lima which is functioning and because if Lima is functioning, generally we are fine. And we can also see some other flows happening through this. Next please. So once this was done, the Lima was checked. Next, we put in the pacing blade and these are the two pigtails you can see which have been positioned here. Although I totally agree with you that they are not representing the the true and you know the true sinuses on both sides, but definitely the non cornery is absolutely good in, in good position. Next, and then we took one more step. We crossed this valve, usually with the same AL1. Next, please keep going. Next, next, and this is the pigtail in good position, and uh, then the confida wire valve has been checked looks okay it's a 23 size valve and this 23 will be about 12 to 15 percent oversize according to our estimates next please okay now what you see here is this is a 16 millimeter balloon and uh, we will do the balloon and at the same time we will do uh, a orthography with a small next. die contrast which is about 8 to 10 ml only next. while the pacing is on Next, please. please. So we minimize some, co you know, again contrast over here, and also get an idea of the anatomy uh, at least once before we do the implantation, and also see 
whether the non coronary catheter is in perfect position or not next ne please next. keep going next 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 so you can yeah. see here yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the balloon see. dilatation with contrast okay. we used uh, 7 ml 7x7 7 yeah. 7, uh, through the pigtail just to get an additional feel and uh, and as you rightly said uh, Saibal we, we probably d wouldn't have used two pigtails but just because we're going to minimize the amount of contrast we want another layer of safety mm -hmm. to give us enough landmarks as much as possible so that we try and uh, and this uh, minimize second pigtail is a uh, the first one was not going so it's the angle pigtail which is going on to the left sinus okay next please Okay, Praveen, I would like you to proceed. So now we are in uh, position. We have the valve and we are Sorry. going to go ahead. Floro, please. Next, Floro. Live Floro. Okay, this is just on the RAO. You can yeah. see here, uh, we are sure we are at two different sinuses at least. Next. Do you mind going ahead with the valve? So everything up till now looks okay. The heart rate is 53. Okay. Patient has RBB and also has a first degree heart block but uh, rather stable rhythm and uh, the BP is 137 by 75 after dilatation so there is no significant AR and NT also we don't uh, see too much of AR after the balloon dilatation so now we are ready with the 23 size valve and this is a Metronic uh, Evolute R and we are going to go ahead with as per plan so now can we have the fluoro? Yeah. Going. Okay, going. just track yeah. the. Yeah. So what Gopal is doing, he is tracking on the wire, well, and I am slowly going. pushing inside so that we don't hit anywhere. There is some resistance. Just keep the track. Keep the track. Yeah, that's better. So whenever we there is a resistance, and in this case we have to be a little cautious because there is a dilatation of the root over here. So be careful. Yeah. Be okay. careful. Let's come and go in and be area. careful. Let's go in and yeah. Area. So the pigtail has moved a little bit, but don't worry. We will position it. Okay. Let's go in a bit more. Bit okay. more, please. Okay. Bit more. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Excellent. Now we'll have to position the pigtail. Dr. Anand, you keep holding the wire. Yeah. That is the angled one. That is the angled one. Okay, now both are so into the non Let's get the pigtail. We have time. Yeah. So there is no hurry. The BP is okay. So we are okay. So we'll take our time. Get a wire, please. Take the wire. Okay, we'll pull it a little bit back. It has got us, you know, this thing a little bit. Ah, now it is free. Now it is free. Pull, push the wire, please. Dr. Anand? Yeah. Chloro, chloro on, chloro. Okay, let's. Are you? Chloro on, chloro on. Come to the arch, please. Show me the arch. It's still, I think, maybe once. Okay, now, now it is, now it is free. I know. One second, one second. Come forward. Okay, stay there. Give me the wire again. So, we are just trying to reposition these pigtails because these are our guiding uh, for the depth of this valve. Well, we were expecting it to move anyway, and this is something we expect anyway after the valve is uh, positioned so normally. So. Give us some time and then we'll be okay. As you rightly said that the second pigtail generally doesn't help, but uh, we'll see if we can take any extra information from this. Otherwise, we'll le leave it into this, just above this. Yeah, that's better. It's okay. I think let's not worry too much now. 
and we'll have to no. huh? it's okay yeah. Yeah, we have time Yeah. yeah, it is better now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You just have to give it that time, and uh, I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Because we do have a lot of kit there, so it's it's not surprising that there was some resistance there. But, uh, anyway, okay. we're on to business now. So okay. So let us, Laura. Wire. Live, yeah. Laura. Wire. Can you just position it a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, you can go okay. deeper a bit okay. more. Okay, now I'm going a little bit deeper. Go to the implant okay. view, please. Okay, now go to the reference image. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, this is very good. Okay, good. now we have to... Let's yeah, that's perfect. The parallax, nice. the parallax is removed. Yeah. I'm going a little bit deeper. Now it is okay. We'll start... <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't go deeper than that. Yeah, slow, 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 slow. It's going a bit deeper. Yeah, I'm, just I'm positioning it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So okay. we're going to start yeah. uh, deploying. Yeah. yeah. Slowly, slowly. Very slow. Very slow. No, no, no. Just hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. Now. Okay. 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 Slow. Slow. Come back a bit. A slow. bit higher. Yeah. I'm just. Okay, fine. Just slow. Give just give it some time. Yeah. Just wait for the tension to get out. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah, it's good. I, I like Come the being slow. Mm -hmm. I, I'll adjust. Yeah. Slow. Just, just go. Just hold, hold, hold. hold. Just pull a bit slightly. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, just wait for the release. tension to come down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay slow. Slow. Come back slow. a bit. Very slow. Okay. They're starting to flare. Yeah. yeah it's back starting to flare. Now just hold on. I'll just come a little bit back. Okay, just that's enough. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Just that's enough. Just okay, okay, I'm going further. We're making contact. Yeah, we're yeah. making contact. Okay, just stay there. Yeah. Okay, no no more wire manipulation. Just stay there. Push forward. No, I'm fine. Don't worry. Push, please. It's quite deep on one side. Push. Okay. We need to push forward. Okay, it's going deeper actually. You know? Yeah, it's sliding down. I would. This has okay, gone come deep. Come to the RAO. Come to the RAO now. I know. Yeah, yeah. We have gone a little bit deep. We're gonna recapture. Yeah. yeah. I think and you should and I'll position it again back. So come to the RAO. I know. We we come to the RAO. Okay. 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 It's quite deep actually. So recapture. Go back. Go back. Go back to the image, reference image, yeah. Okay, fine. It's a bicuspid, so you can be even at zero level. You don't yes. have to. Yeah, yeah, we are trying to be. Yeah, we will be, we will be. That's now what yeah, we are now start releasing. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. And, uh, yeah, start releasing. We are in good position. It's too much tension. No, no, don't worry. Push the wire. Push the wire a little bit. Yeah. Anand Raman, let's just, push let's the wire. Just capture. Yeah. By capturing, uh, yeah. we will release the tension for yeah. a second. Okay, now start releasing. Start releasing. B BP is low. No, don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Just, just start releasing. Yeah. I'll keep that in position. Okay. Yeah. Just go yeah. push yeah. further yeah. now. No, I'm push fine. You know, don't push here. Yeah. Don't push. You start keep releasing. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Keep yeah. releasing. Yeah. releasing. Yeah. Pressures, yeah. please. Coming up. Yeah. Pressures come now this looks better. Six, Pressures are coming up. Okay. You are having audience getting nervous. The heart rate's going up. No, no, yeah. no, don't worry. We are. Your pressure is going The PP is up now. Up. 90. Yeah, Praveen is cool, so it's we, okay. We are, re we are resuscitating the audience over here. Yeah. <laughs> we are Temporary fine. So can pacing you come them. to the RAO? We are pacing RAO, them. please. RAO. Yeah, so we are actually. Uh, it's still a little low. No, no, yeah, we, we can go back. I, uh, I think you yeah. can yeah. come back. Let's just go and check, on, echo, check on the... Just wait. You can check also echoes. Okay, let's yeah, get Yeah, we echo are looking at the T Because now. we got a blood pressure here, so we have time. So let's get the echo. Okay. 
color there? On, on uh, the uh, echo, I, I hope you can see, it's a bit deeper on the septal side and uh, less deep, which you would expect. We are going to push and uh, we're going to align it uh, yes. if we were to implant here. So I think it's quite deep here, Put right? So uh, I think that will correct itself. Yeah, yeah. It's deep on the septal yeah. side, but yeah, on it's the, deep on the septal septal mitral it's side, deep. it seems it's to be okay. It's also deep on the other side. Because you see how it's impinging on the mitral valve? Little, little, not too much on the mitral side, but yes, we need to bring it a little bit back. A little bit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come to the reference image, uh, reference uh, view, reference view, LAO. Okay, come back to the TOE, please. TOE back. Okay, I'm going to recapture again. Because there's mm. so much tension, I'd yeah. like the tension to no, come so off. So push the wire a little you bit. If you push the, push wire, the wire, it's easier to get, yeah, instead of pulling the catheter, it'd be a yeah. better way to keep Yeah, yeah, so we have to push the wire. Oh. That's a better way to get. Okay. 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 There. okay, now start releasing again. Okay. Start releasing again. Don't move the wire. Don't, Don't move, move wire anything. Now. Don't move the wire. I think that, yeah. I like this Don't one. Do faster now, faster. Don't do okay. anything. Great. It's a very good position. Okay, that's good. It's a very good position now. The yeah. pressure is okay. The pressure position looks better now. Like yes. Look at the T again. Check to you, please. Pressure is back up 138 by 81, if you can see the hemodynamics mm -hmm. also. So now we have the... Uh, I think it's okay. Slightly uh, higher now. Yeah. We're okay. Yeah, it looks We're okay. okay. Uh, let's go to uh, our implant view. Come Ario, please. You know, on Ario side, we are yeah, still a deeper little deeper. Ario. So we can come a little bit back as well. But I think if we don't have any leak here. Let's just check the, uh, uh, let's uh, check uh, the color, please. Color, color. Some color. This looks quite good, actually. And uh, we, are we are still in uh, sinus rhythm. Mm -hmm. We're not requiring pacing. In spite of the depth, if uh, now that we don't have any conduction abnormality, although we could develop one later, at the moment it looks okay, mm. and uh, there's not much leak that you can see. No, no, Just nothing. give us another view, please. Lalita? Give us a five chamber. There. There's it's a little bit there, some, which you yeah. would expect uh, paravalvula, which we hope will uh, get better once we align but the valve. But there's power. a very tiny jet. Short axis, ma? Is okay. Mm. Okay. Looks good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to release yeah. it here. I think we our endpoints are pretty good here because mm. uh, I, I, I agree it's a bit uh, low down mm. and the no, pressures but are but very I good. I think it's, it's acceptable. And even now it's the diastolic good. is yeah. 90, yeah. so we can't be having much AR. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy to release it here. Let's go to implant view, please. Implanters okay. view. Yeah. Okay. Just remove uh, the T, please. T out. T pull the T probe. Yeah. Okay. Just want to I'll do that. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a bit more. Push. Yeah. I'll push. I'll push. Just push the wire. Start releasing. No. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 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 You're pushing? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll push. Don't worry. I'll push the wire. Okay. Releasing. The yeah. Start releasing now. I think we are uh, we are done. Yeah. Okay, we are done. I think we're Looks done. Nice. It's uh, centered nicely. Yeah, <sighs> Looks good. So okay, okay now the cheese. Uh, we can take it out. Let's go. Let's go. Push, pull the wire. Okay, okay. so no, it's, it's thank you very much. Uh, it was really a nice. It just proved to me that the second pigtail was of no value. <laughs> But that's okay. Yeah, but Saibal yeah. wanted to prove his point. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a very good deployment. We, I think we, it's very. Uh, yeah, so we have to just. So do you mind? We we want to go to the other room. They want to show so the final. Yeah. So we'll just give you a quick uh, update on what's been happening. So the valve was deployed uh, there. You saw that. Uh, let's go straight away to the echoes, please, without any uh, waste of time. Okay, echo, post procedure echo, please. 
post procedure last last yeah. okay great so that's the short axis you can see here uh, there was hardly any significant next, AR. Next. Blood pressure is uh, 150 by uh, 90 as we speak. Next, give us the three chamber. And that's the three chamber view. Hardly any AR. And the patient is not requiring pacemaker. Although we're going to keep our watchful eye. Uh, back to the camera. So I know we, were, we went just step by step. That's mainly uh, for the advantage of. Uh, uh, making sure that we leave no leaf left unturned because we were a bit nervous also. We were doing this first time in the country and, and it happens to be the first in the world of an evolutar implantation without any CT assessment. That's what I'm told and certainly first in the country. So very good uh, outcome. Uh, we are fairly pleased and uh, I thank uh, Dr. Sanjeev Agarwal whose patient this is who very kindly brought the patient over and also helped us uh, with his input as an operator. Um, anything yeah. to add? So uh, I think you know uh, this was something very unique which we did today without any contrast and as you saw that using this self-expanding retrievable valve was the key to success in this kind of situation and of course taking the help of T in this particular case was quite uh, you know useful and we were able to reposition the valve very successfully uh, three times, I think, just three times, and the valve was in good position. And it just goes to show the advantage of the retrievable system, yes, because yes. I don't think any yeah. other system would be appropriate. It also goes to show that the you, valve don't, you didn't need the second pigtail. Small valve yeah. is going to be maximum. No, yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it just gave that extra yeah. piece of uh, so reassurance that we know roughly no, where it is. I, I take it. Yeah. No, actually, I've done cases with second valve. It never helped me. That's why I'm saying it's good to just. What is yeah. important just to focus on the non chronic In fact, Saibal. In one patient, even we could not put the pigtail, so we had put a wire there. I have done a case yeah. from a you know, carotid approach. There was no other approach, and I had to use the just, just wire. the wire in the non coronary cusp and, that and was just you know, yes. implant the valve. So the, thank you very much. That was a great case, actually. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank great. you. Bye-bye. Excellent. Bye-bye.